Hello friends, welcome to CAD in 360. In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw a three-point arc in AutoCAD 2018. So let's begin. You can find arc command here in draw panel under home tab. Click on this arc flyout and you will get a various options of the arc command. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the three-point arc. Click on this and then you have to specify the start point of the arc or first point of the arc. Click anywhere. Then you have to specify the second point of the arc. Then specify. And you have to specify the end point of the arc. You can create a clockwise as well as anti-clockwise arc based on the selection or based on the specified points. Okay. Similarly, you can create arc by using arc command from the command line and then you have to specify first point, second point and the third point. Okay, and the, and the shortcut of the arc command is A. Press enter and if you, uh, if you press enter without specifying the first point of the arc then it will use the end point of the last drawn arc or line as a first point of the this new arc you can see it the end point of this previous arc is used as a first point for this arc and then the message is you specify the end point of the new arc so you have to specify the end point of the arc you can use control key to switch the direction of the arc and this new arc is tangent to the previous arc so this is the old one and this is the new one and it is tangent to the previous one so you can uh, create a tangent arc by clicking endpoint you can see the this is tangent to this one okay you can also use line command and then draw a arc tangent to it press enter and now you can see that this new arc uh, uses the end point of the this line as a first point of the arc and you have to specify the end point or last point of this arc use control key to switch the direction of the arc click anywhere and the arc is created so this arc is tangent to this line okay so in this way you can create an arc using a three point option of a arc command in autocad 2018 that's all for this video if you like this video then please subscribe for more tutorials thank you